Good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, welcome to Startup Change Leaders uh, Weekly Meet. Uh, today, we are going to talk about a very interesting uh, sphere, which is uh, EV startup uh, in India. And uh, <clears throat> globally, also, what's happening in this space and uh, what is the uh, you know uh, latest uh, uh, trend in the EV startups? What are the opportunities and uh, uh, who are the players who are already there in this uh, field and uh, uh, who are the ones who have funded uh, these uh, EV startups? So uh, you know we will be going through the entire gamut. And as we started uh, uh, earlier in the uh, this last last month as well and this month as well. Uh, we we spoke about agri startups. Then we talked about uh, the startups uh, which are uh, in the uh, uh, space of uh, uh, the uh, uh, you know various industries we are trying to cover. And uh, we are uh, this time going to talk about the EV uh, space. And uh, EV space is uh, becoming more and more uh, exciting more and more uh, challenging and uh, but the opportunity is huge there are so many players who are uh, there who actually uh, can uh, uh, make a lot of uh, change in the entire game and uh, as we know that environmental concerns are increasing because of the pollution created by uh, all the uh, electric uh, sorry, diesel vehicles and the petrol vehicles. Uh, so the electric vehicles are the answer to that. Uh, and uh, that is where I think uh, the EV space is becoming more and more important. And uh, so a lot of uh, people who are uh, actually uh, funding the environmentally, uh, uh, you know, uh, better companies where who, who are contributing for the decrease of carbon credit they are actually getting into this space. So I'm Rajiv Bajaj, you all know me. Uh, I'm CEO Bajaj and Bajaj Corporate Chambers. Uh, I advise a lot of startups, uh, past council member of ICSI. Uh, I have been chairman of NARC of ICSI as well and past vice president SEMA. So let's look at uh, what is the overall scenario in this space. Uh, uh, you know, global warming is one of the biggest challenge uh, affecting our planet uh, with countries uh, which are trying to find solution to this problem. Uh, and uh, not only government, but companies uh, and startups uh, also have to play a major role uh, in tackling this issue because uh, any issue which is a globally concern uh, is not, uh, can be solved only by uh, the governments, uh, the people who are actually uh, in the industry or in the startup space can also contribute a lot in finding a solution to this problem. And uh, that is where I think uh, we, we all have uh, a big, big role to play. Uh, now, the Indian startups uh, have a, a key role uh, in the, the uh, as a third largest number of startup base in the world. Uh, ap apart from US and China. Uh, so uh, we, we, we really have a very uh, strong network, very strong uh, uh, presence, and uh, we can actually make uh, a lot of difference in uh, uh, creating an impact uh, for the uh, startups uh, and for the environment, uh, you know, uh, through the EV startups. Uh, so, um, vehicular pollution, we all know, is a major cause of uh, uh, global warming. Uh, clean mobility uh, is something which is being talked about by everyone. And uh, mm, there are many uh, Indian electric vehicles uh, such as Ather Energy, uh, Alti Green, Bolt. Uh, there is a company called Baj Bikes, um, which have come with sustainable solution. and uh, there are various, uh, uh, you know, small as well as large EV startups, uh, which are, uh, uh, you know, the revenue from them is uh, estimated to reach uh, uh, 15.397 billion by 2027. So the space is becoming big and huge. 
uh, there are a lot of opportunities and there are a lot of uh, you know uh, areas where uh, we we uh, can see uh, a huge huge movement uh, in the uh, ev space and uh, in the people uh, who are going to be uh, investing in this space as well as uh, people who are going to be benefited uh, from uh, these uh, startups now uh, if you look at uh, the uh, uh, you know overall uh, scenario of ev startups in india uh, they offer a slew of services uh, one is uh, sustainable mobility energy infrastructure uh, commercial mobility and battery management system now this is uh, another very very big area i myself uh, i'm working on a project uh, in a company where uh, we are working on uh, creating a swappable battery uh, which is going to be installed uh, uh, in uh, a particular geographic area and uh, these swappable batteries will make sure that uh, uh, the bike doesn't have to stop for charging um, the battery can be swapped and uh, you know the uh, the vehicle keep moving so uh, while the charging is taking place uh, the other battery takes over so uh, the mobility of the vehicle becomes 24 by 7 and that is required actually for uh, especially the vehicles which are into the delivery space so uh, i think that is the key uh, that as a domain uh, we uh, are working and there's a lot of research happening in this area where um, a battery management systems are being developed which are uh, going to uh, make sure that uh, more and more people uh, use ev vehicles these days uh, one of the challenge being faced by uh, people who are using ev is that what if uh, my uh, vehicle, uh, you know, uh, the battery discharges and uh, what do I do? Uh, so I will have to halt or I will have to uh, come to a situation where I cannot move forward. But uh, this is the, uh, you know, quick solution which has come uh, that uh, we can actually have a system where swappable batteries are there and uh, the batteries can be uh, you know uh, swapped quickly and uh, the vehicle keeps moving so uh, that is something uh, you know which is uh, too uh, much uh, uh, in uh, uh, vogue and uh, a lot of people are working on this project and uh, whosoever will develop a better technology will have a better uh, go and uh, uh, these swappable batteries are, uh, are going to be uh, uh, available uh, very soon in India as well and uh, this is going to entirely change the game of uh, EV space and uh, we will definitely have uh, areas where a lot of people will show uh, uh, interest already there are many uh, car manufacturers who have come with uh, EV cars. Uh, we also have, uh, uh, you know, uh, EV uh, uh, taxi service, uh, Blue, uh, and uh, many more uh, to come. So uh, this um, uh, EV, uh, you know, overall uh, improvement of uh, EV vehicles and uh, increase of EV vehicles is going to actually uh, contribute for uh, environmental uh, uh, concerns and uh, this is what we are going to discuss today that how this is going to change the market and how this is going to create an impact uh, uh, on the overall uh, progress of the country and uh, also uh, you know the EV uh, uh, startups will work as a catalyst uh, for uh, growth in the FMCG and logistic among others. So the delivery space is going to uh, be revolutionized by uh, this uh, EV uh, uh, action, which is going to be there in the EV startups. And uh, we will see lots of uh, action uh, in this area where uh, uh, logistic space 
uh, is uh, definitely going to have uh, a big impact. Now, who are the uh, uh, startups? Let us take a look. Uh, uh, the Indian startup who are helping keep the earth healthy and green through their technology product. Uh, Athra, uh, we must have heard and we must have seen these vehicles uh, already on the road. Uh, even uh, I, I saw that Domino's uh, uh, pizza delivery is uh, happening. Uh, I saw in Noida through Ather. Uh, so, so they are this. They have these uh, uh, two-wheeler scooters. Um, uh, they the smart battery, smart e-trio, three EV, um, bars, blue. And we just talked about charge up. Um, you know, Comet Electric, Electric Pay. Uh, like this, they have so many uh, startups which are uh, already working in this space. Uh, Yulu and uh, Zip Electric also. You must have seen uh, uh, these uh, Dunzo and uh, all these 10 minute delivery people and Swiggy also, I believe uh, they are using uh, Zip uh, Electric uh, vehicles. So, and uh, uh, there is a Taiwanese company called Gogoro. Uh, which has uh, invested uh, in Zip Electric, and uh, we have uh, we we see that uh, there's a lot of uh, action happening in this space. A lot of international players are uh, also coming in, and they are uh, trying to uh, invest in uh, uh, this space uh, to make sure that uh, the EV uh, uh, space is uh, becoming more and more uh, bigger. And there are more and more uh, uh, players as well as more and more investors uh, uh, coming in because uh, this is where uh, the growth is going to be. This is where the money is going to be. And this is where all the affluent people, um, they are going to um, change their vehicles to EV vehicles. And once that happens, uh, this uh, mm, uh, space will have a lot of, uh, uh, so to say, revolutionized uh, uh, situation. And we will see a lot of uh, um, action in the uh, EV space. Now, if you look at uh, the uh, few of the uh, fundings uh, which have been done recently, I will uh, be sharing. Uh, there is a company called 3EV uh, Industries, which was founded in uh, 2019. Uh, the founders were Peter Hamert uh, and Suman K. Mishra. Uh, the fundraise to date is $2 million, And uh, investors are Credence Family Office, uh, which is headquartered in Bangalore. Bangalore being a mecca of uh, a lot of, uh, uh, you know. Ganesham ji, can you just uh, put yourself in mute? I, sir. Yeah, can you put yourself on mute, please? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, the uh, Credence family office and uh, uh, the uh, Bangalore, uh, you know, uh, as I, 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 I was talking, Bangalore being a mecca of uh, all these uh, big uh, investor bases. So uh, there's a lot of action happening uh, on EV space and a lot of investors are there in the EV space. Uh, there is another uh, uh, company called Alchi Green Propulsion Labs, which is uh, founded in 2013. Uh, this is uh, founders are Amitabh Saran and Shailendra Gupta. They have raised as big as 40 million US dollars. And uh, investors are Reliance New Energy, uh, Exponentia Capital, Accurant, Momentum Venture Capital. So huge. Uh, Funding is uh, coming in this space uh, where uh, a lot of uh, action is happening on um, green energy and uh, energy uh, which can be, uh, you know, which can be put in the uh, EV, EV uh, space. Ather Energy is uh, another uh, big, uh, you know, player uh, which is uh, uh, founded by uh, Tarun Mehta and uh, Swapnil Jain. Uh, and as we were talking, uh, they have already raised 225 million USD 
uh, for uh, their uh, you know ev vehicles and um, the investors are none other than hero motor corp um, even department of science and technology iig madras pini bansal sachin bansal tiger global and the nir limited uh, so again it's uh, headquartered in bangalore so bangalore uh, has uh, many many uh, ev uh, uh, startups uh, which are flourishing and uh, somehow i find uh, you know bangalore has the pulse of the market they are uh, uh, always uh, having uh, uh, people who um, actually are thinking ahead of times and the uh, government there also karnataka government is supporting uh, the startup uh, eco space uh, ecosystem and uh, they are actually uh, giving a lot of uh, uh, you know incentives as well as a uh, lot of support uh, and there are a lot of uh, research uh, uh, facilities also available where uh, people can go and uh, do their research on uh, any of the uh, startup area including the ev uh, space now bolt is another uh, very interesting startup to watch uh, uh, they were founded by uh, mr jyoti ranjan hari chandan and mohit yadav uh, again they have raised uh, around 4 million us dollar Mm, uh, investors are uh, iti uh, growth opportunity fund sun mobility uh, union square ventures prime venture partners again headquartered in bangalore so um, we can see that uh, um, the ev space is getting lot of traction ev space is getting lot of uh, 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 you know support from uh, uh, people who are uh, actually want to invest in a Uh, space where uh, uh, the environmental concerns can be uh, you know taken care and also uh, the uh, uh, this uh, you know uh, the industry flourishes because it's not only uh, you are contributing by uh, investing in a ev uh, industry by uh, you know contributing to the economy whether it is a delivery sector or any other sector uh or mobility sector but uh, you know uh, you are also actually uh, contributing uh, in uh, saving the earth you are contributing in uh, a area where a uh, lot of environmental concerns are there uh, so um, there is another interesting uh, uh, you know startup called corit electric Uh, it was founded in 2020 there is a gentleman called mayur mishra it is a uh, noida based uh, you know and uh, they have already raised 9 million investors are shifty cap um, and uh, uh, there is another uh, one etario uh, which was founded in 2016 by uh, satya uh, and uh, deepak uh, they have raised 3 million usd already uh there is a investor called mr janardan rao uh, from hyderabad so uh, uh, why are we are discussing these examples these examples are um, uh, to uh, you know uh, see that uh, already there is lot of traction happening in this space there are lot of investors there are lot of uh, uh, startups who are working in this area and uh, they are working in different segments no and the the uh, overall uh, game uh, is very big pie is very big so uh, people uh, i was uh, when i was visiting the uh, i visited up lucknow uh, you know global investor summit i saw a, a startup from lucknow uh, they are coming up with a racing car uh, which is a ev uh, so uh, you know the uh, and uh, all the founders were young boys and girls uh, that was the best part uh, to see and uh, i was told uh, that uh, even uh, our minister and the up chief minister were very interested they spent lot of time in uh, that stall uh, understanding from them um, what's happening and uh, in fact i am already talking to their founders uh, so there's a huge huge uh, scope of uh, working in this area um uh, but uh, there are constraints also 
uh, for example, um, the uh, length of charging, uh, how to reduce that, how to make it more efficient, how to have more and more charging stations, um, how to have uh, a swipe, a swappable uh, batteries. Uh, all these areas uh, need uh, innovation and uh, there's a lot which can be done to improve this uh, EV space and uh, mm, uh, to uh, overall give it a Philip. Uh, mm. There's another very interesting startup which is Chennai based uh, green, uh, uh, green Tech, uh, which is um, uh, Nikhilesh Mishra and Puneet Jain. Uh, they have also raised uh, 2 million USD. Um, they they have investors called Mr. Sumantran, Lakshminara, and Mr. Manian, um, and uh, it is headquartered in uh, Chennai. Now, uh, uh, Ola Electric, we all know. Ola Electric is again Bangalore based. Pavish is uh, the founder, and uh, they have raised eight hundred fifty nine million till date. Um, huge uh, plant they have set up where uh, they have a uh, lot of uh, uh, investors like Techne, Private Ventures, Alpine, Opportunity, Adelweiss, Tiger Global, SoftBank, Hyundai, Kia Motors, Bank of Baroda, uh, uh, Falcon, uh, IFL, P, Car24, Moglix, Dealshare, VSS, uh, Mr. Pawan Munjal, Ratan Tata himself, and Mehul Mehta. So uh, they they have uh, uh, you know um, although they they uh, got a lot of traction, but uh, they had their own challenges also. Uh, uh, some of their vehicles uh, caught uh, uh, you know uh, fire. So uh, uh, the uh, there were a lot of concerns which were raised on uh, the vehicles being manufactured by them, whether the technology is mature enough. Uh, and uh, uh, how to avoid uh, these accidents uh, because uh, if you are uh, going on the road and suddenly your uh, vehicle catches fire uh, so uh, definitely that is going to be a very problematic thing so so ev space uh, as i mentioned has uh, a lot of uh, action but uh, at the same time uh, there are a lot of challenges as well so um, uh, so we have just uh, uh, taken you through uh, certain players who are uh, uh, into this space and who are uh, very actively uh, working on it. Uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, now before we go to the uh, next uh, discussion about how they are, EV space is going to be a game changer. Uh, I would take a pause here uh, and uh, ask uh, if any of you have any questions please feel free to ask uh, so that uh, we can move to the next part of our uh, presentation any questions so far yeah hello Rajiv. this space yeah. is uh, like now assert heavy kind of thing right risk is very high yeah not uh, uh, of course uh, uh, you know uh, EV uh, per se is asset heavy uh, because uh, it will involve uh, a lot of uh, manufacturing or uh, but there are companies which are uh, you know even uh, technology companies are getting into it uh, for example in the uh, swappable battery uh, there is a challenge which is coming that uh, okay people may uh, you know take uh, uh, those batteries uh, uh, and never return it you no know? or they how to uh, have a device which is uh, lockable uh, through technology or they can have a code and uh, they can open uh, uh, and only the authorized person takes away the battery and uh, it's not taken away by anybody else you no know? so um, uh, in that there's a lot of uh, ai involved there's uh, of course the mic mechanical and electrical locking system is involved uh, so uh, these this way um, there is a lot of scope of uh, uh, you know for inventors to uh, solve the problems which are going to be there in the ev space uh, for example um, uh, you know 
Yulu came out uh, that okay they kept uh, EV uh, small small EV vehicles at various uh, places, uh, but uh, mm, they faced the challenge that uh, people will uh, just uh, use the vehicle and uh, leave it at any other place, uh, you know, uh, not uh, back at the designated place. So uh, you know these are the uh, 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 problems which need to be solved. So uh, how to solve them? Uh, uh, there a lot of techn technology innovation can be there and the people who will be doing it and patenting that uh, innovation they will be the ones who will be uh, uh, you know uh, the most uh, 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 sought after people uh, so uh, that invention uh, can be uh, through the uh, technical or technology uh, software or whatever uh, I'm not sure how it's going to be, but uh, mm, uh, that may not uh, need uh, uh, a lot of uh, investment or uh, this space. Otherwise, if you are manufacturing a car, of course, uh, EV car is a very expensive proposition, but there are many uh, issues which can be solved by innovation and uh, that can be done even uh, by technology guys uh, who who can find solutions to the problems which are being faced by this EV sector and uh, they can uh, make money uh, by providing that service to uh, the uh, there's a lot of B2B play in this. Uh, for example, uh, all these uh, companies who have to do delivery. Now delivery if uh, uh, done by all, all by EVs and, and none of the delivery happens by uh, the motorcycles and uh, the scooters or any other polluting device and that will change the scenario of the game but then uh, uh, there is a constraint that uh, this delivery is uh, uh, has to happen at a particular pace you know? uh, you you can't have delivery by a vehicle which is running at 25 kilometers per hour uh, which is very slow because uh, they also have, okay, they have to deliver within 10 minutes or something. So um, uh, we are working, uh, I'm uh, advising a company and we are working in, uh, on a project where the speed can be more than 25 kilometers now. So uh, uh, where you can actually solve that problem of uh, quick delivery and uh, you are, you, are uh, uh, you know, by solving that problem itself, one can uh, make a lot of money by selling that technology to various uh, B2B companies. Thank, thank you, Rajivji. Yeah. Also, this uh, Zulu initially, to, when it was launched, it was a B2C. Like yeah. uh, it yeah. was used by people who who want to travel from metro station to their homes. Yeah. But, but it, now it is pivoted to B2C because all of those vehicles are used by Swiggy people for mm -hmm. delivery yeah 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 so that is where they they found a, a problem that uh, uh, you know when they uh, people are not that disciplined to use the service in a perfect way you know i saw for the first time this uh, being used in japan uh, where uh, all the metro stations used to have a small uh, uh, yard uh, kind of a place where person can pick up the electric vehicle and uh, travel from metro station to the uh, other metro station or a place which is nearby their home or residential locality and park back the vehicle there so that it can be used by the person who has to come back uh, to the metro station no? so um, uh, but uh, you know in uh, uh, sorry to say but uh, discipline uh, is also very important uh, people should have that kind of a tendency to uh, be very uh, honest and professional in using uh, such services this can be a game changer but then people have to uh, you know uh, they must uh, uh, honestly use these services so that uh, they don't uh, uh, so they you lost a lot of vehicles. Uh, some people they never uh, put the vehicle back in the dock or something. So that was uh, area where uh, they faced challenge. Now that is why they are shifting to delivery space because uh, at least uh, they will not suffer. But there also 
I think the speed of the vehicle is an issue. Uh, in the delivery space, you need uh, uh, good speed for the vehicle, which is uh, uh, becoming a constraint. That's my understanding. Yeah. So in that case, there is a huge loss for Zulu, right? When they uh, somebody don't put it in that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that is where the techies like you need to, uh, you know, have, uh, find a device which can be put so that uh, you know it can be tracked anytime, anywhere. No, uh, these days uh, geotagging and uh, other things can be there. So uh, if somebody, uh, and there can be a command center, uh, if somebody is uh, not put, putting the vehicle back, immediately that command center comes to know uh, and they can immediately take action and uh, uh, get the vehicle back. No? So uh, that kind of innovation, uh, because if you, this is a new space, uh, so people are coming out with new ideas. When they are coming up with new ideas, new technologies need to evolve to uh, implement those ideas. So the problem statements which are there uh, for uh, EV segment, those uh, can be solved by, uh, you know, putting uh, action uh, in this space. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, anybody else with any other question? Okay, we move uh, to uh, now uh, how these EV startups can be game changer uh, for the Indian economy. Uh, one, of course, uh, Indian market for electric vehicles, uh, we have seen a significant growth in the recent uh, past and a uh, lot of government initiatives are there, a lot of technological breakthroughs are there and of course, uh, uh, there's a huge consumer awareness as well. Uh, for, uh, uh, you know, so together these things have made uh, us aware of some exciting EV startups um, which are uh, hastening the adoption of EV in the Indian markets. And so uh, if you look at uh, in 2022, there would have been more than 1 million electric vehicles sold in India. And uh, this includes two wheelers, three wheelers, auto rickshaws, passenger cars, commercial vehicles. So. Uh, a monthly average of 83,585 electric vehicles were registered in the nation. Uh, this is the data which is taken from Wahan. So, uh, so that means uh, things are um, coming back to um, shape. Uh, more and more uh, electric vehicles are being adopted and adoption of electric vehicles is going to increase and which is a very uh, uh, happy uh, you know, situation because uh, uh, this is going to be a big game changer uh, for uh, the uh, EV startups. And uh, um, so this is the testimony to the fact that there's a rapid expansion in the EV startups uh, and, uh, mm, uh, you know, uh, leads us to think that EV startups have already started their journey from being, uh, you know, a leader in their category. And uh, then, of course, a uh, lot of innovation is taking place in this sector. Uh, so, um, uh, if you look at the global scenario, uh, there is a huge, uh, um, you know, global EV acceptance. Uh, at present, a lot of countries have become uh, environmentally conscious. Um, country leaders are also working to have zero dependency on uh, uh, such fuels and uh, that could have a bad impact on the environment and uh, almost every company they are working uh, 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 towards the steps to reduce the carbon footprint of their products and services and the prime focus has shifted to uh, vehicles and people uh, accepting ev in huge numbers so uh, this is uh, something which is uh, uh, moving uh, very very fast a uh, lot of action is happening in this space and uh, we we see that uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, ev players are uh, uh, you know coming in this uh, uh, you know setting up their units and uh, uh, of course uh, it's not just limited to cars or bikes they have uh, even expanded to electric trucks 
buses and other commercial uh, segment vehicles. Uh, it is also said that the research is happening uh, in having uh, EV tech in airplanes and ships, which are yet to get tapped. So there is a huge, huge potential. Uh, so uh, the uh, electric energy or energy uh, which uh, can be, uh, you know, created to uh, give. But the biggest challenge is uh, that so far uh, the the speed of the vehicle. Uh, is a challenge, right? So uh, now uh, they are coming up with the new and new technologies, uh, better technologies are coming. A lot of research is happening, how to make uh, uh, these EV vehicles uh, fit for uh, uh, running these uh, big ships or airplanes. Uh, so uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, the person who may invent uh, such things or who is working on such things, they can get it patented and they can sell it to um, all these uh, big uh, companies, uh, their uh, inventions, and can make huge money. So uh, there's a huge potential for uh, uh, invention and innovation in this space. And a lot is happening. Uh, let me tell you, uh, as I told you, I'm also involved with a, a company which is into uh, battery uh, working on a swappable battery uh, technology, uh, which is uh, going to be uh, perfect for fit for all seasons, whether it is a rain or uh, anything, uh, whether it is a, a very environment, a lot of heat is there, or um, uh, environment uh, where a lot of cold is also there. So uh, this battery, which we are working on, uh, can work in, uh, you know, minus... Uh, a uh, few degrees uh, also. So uh, uh, that will have a global presence. So, uh, you know, in India, uh, we uh, have people who can actually uh, invent uh, uh, and uh, uh, work for the global market. You know? So that is uh, uh, a big possibility. And uh, that is where I think we see a lot of uh, action which can take place. And uh, uh, Export, exporting uh, of such products and exporting of such services would make uh, uh, our reserves stronger and could bring a lot of pro positive impacts on the economy because if all these companies will earn uh, in dollars, definitely there will be a, a huge money flowing in uh, into our country. Uh, so uh, if, you, if you look at uh, uh, the uh, uh, the during uh, uh, you know the environmental summit, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, pledged to reduce the carbon emission intensity in India by 45% by 2030 and achieve a zero emission by 2070. So um, uh, you know they they worked towards uh, increasing the EV adoption uh, and that is the only way forward. So the government is also uh, committed. They have committed to the world that uh, we have to reduce the uh, uh, emission levels to zero by 2070. So, uh, which is a, not an easy thing to do, but uh, uh, since it is a commitment of the government, so they are also encouraging uh, all the uh, uh, EV companies to come with the newer technology, to come up with uh, better solutions. Uh, and of course, uh, um, there being a sustainable mobility solution which is required, um, uh, EVs can play an important role uh, for filling the gap of public transportation network to electrifying the last minute, minute connectivity. For example, uh, the metro stations, from metro stations to uh, uh, pe people coming to the housing complex area or nearby area or any other place, uh, they are all using these days uh, these electric vehicles. Um, they are electric two-wheelers, three-wheelers, e-rickshaws. A uh, lot of them are flying all over the place. And that is actually leading to a lot of uh, uh, situation where uh, the uh, 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 no pollution is there. And these vehicles uh, are moving very swiftly uh, uh, on the roads. So. Uh, 
uh, this is uh, very critical for uh, countries economic prosperity and a lot of uh, because of this urbanization and growing population uh, we have increased mobility needs and travel demands uh, and uh, that is actually um, stimulating demand for vehicles so uh, there is uh, going to be a huge huge uh, uh, action in this space and i'm sure this will lead to uh, a lot of uh, uh, important uh, changes uh, which are going to take place in this segment uh, so uh, let us uh, wrap up our discussion today uh, and then i'll leave the floor open for the uh, question and answer session uh, there's no denying uh, that petrol and diesel cars add to pollution we all know that uh, but their contribution is not limited to just uh, uh, tailpipe emission in fact the extraction of oil refining it into fuel transporting it to the gas stations manufacturing ice vehicles all contribute to the air pollution so um, it's not only the uh, uh, you know vehicle usage uh, the entire ecosystem of uh, uh, the use of oil um, leads to uh, the, you know pollution creation and uh, also um, the carbon ambition uh, uh, reduction targets are uh, very ambitious uh, uh, starting india in phase uh, where there is a, a concerted and deliberate shift towards cleaner mobility solutions people become more aware of climate change and uh, its potential consequences we have seen uh, recently uh, you know the rainfalls uh, happening uh, when the crop is standing so uh, that is leading to a lot of uh, uh, concerns for the farmers uh, uh, and a lot of challenges for the overall uh, environmental space so uh, we actually uh, need to uh, work in this area where uh, all these evs can solve all the mobility problems as well as uh, help in reducing the uh, carbon emissions uh, and can actually lead to a situation where uh, uh, we can uh, make our uh, cities cleaner uh, so uh, indian cities and automakers are encouraging use of electric vehicles and a lot of municipalities and the governments um, are creating a ecosystem where all these charging stations are available at uh, various locations uh, to everyone so that uh, they can uh, fearlessly use their vehicle uh, it should not be that oh they are uh, uh, going to a place but how to charge my uh, you know uh, vehicle so a uh, lot of public uh, charging stations are available where uh, you know you can go and uh, charge your vehicle and apart from that you can have your own charging units so uh, there's a huge huge uh, uh, action happening in this area a lot of potential is there and uh, this is definitely going to be a game changer so uh, ev startups uh, kudos to you those who are actually working on ev projects uh, uh, a big shout to them and uh, also uh, the investors who are investing in this area um, they are doing a very great service because they are not only uh, helping these startups uh, they are actually helping uh, the uh, solving of uh, environmental uh, concerns and uh, solving the problem of the world uh, um, which is uh, uh, all these uh, carbon emissions and all uh, so uh, i take a breather again uh, so open uh, uh, the floor for questions uh, any questions please Ajish? Yeah, actually, um, I see in Bangalore for two wheelers, uh, the, the market has accepted them, but four wheelers, uh, could you throw some light? Uh, yeah, four, four wheelers uh, means, uh, what's actually, your question? Actually, in Bangalore, I see for two wheeler, the market has accepted uh, mm -hmm. two wheelers as of now. Yeah. Yeah. But four wheeler, uh, I'm not very sure. Uh, any inputs on that? No, no. Uh, the Blue Smart Mobility, uh, the company which is uh, uh, into uh, which is a Ola or a Uber for uh, four wheelers, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and they only have the electric vehicle fleet. 
uh, they are the ones who have already started operations in Bangalore. They started with Delhi NCR. They they found uh, their uh, journey very successful here, and now they have switched to uh, that part of the world. Uh, so they have already operational in South India in Bangalore. So you will see very soon a large number of blue smart mobility cars flying around, which are all electric vehicles. And uh, uh, you know, uh, similarly, a lot of uh, other uh, companies are coming in uh, a space. And not only four wheelers, uh, uh, the three wheeler mobility vehicles, uh, for example, small uh, material has to be ferried uh, from one part of the city to the other part of the state city. So people were earlier using the three wheeler scooters, right? Now, instead of three wheeler scooter, uh, they are using the electric uh, three wheelers, uh, which can carry uh, the material from one part to the other part. What, what and the next is going to be buses. Electric okay. buses are also going to be a reality. Okay. Okay. Yep. And then, so, yeah. And to make a battery, there is a huge amount of water also is spent there. Uh, is that uh, true? No, battery okay. making doesn't uh, need uh, so much of water. Okay. Battery now these days uh, in battery technology also, uh, there is a, a huge shift. Earlier batteries were, uh, you know, those batteries were, uh, those acid and other uh, things were there. Now the batteries are being made uh, uh, through uh, a different product only, right? L lithium. 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 Yeah. So lithium is uh, 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 not uh, as having a requirement of that kind of too much of water or something and uh, tesla and uh, a lot of uh, other people they are working on uh, uh, always working on improvement of the battery technology right so uh, they have a huge uh, play in that so that is why i said uh, there is a huge scope of innovation also in in this area how to make these batteries stronger how to make sure that uh, within small time of period of time these batteries can be charged uh, uh, you know some batteries are taking uh, uh, eight hours to charge some batteries are charged in one one and a half hours uh, no uh, and it depends on the input also so so like, like that there's a lot of action which takes place yeah and like for two wheelers the government is giving some fame subsidy like uh, yes um, yes Government is doing a lot to encourage all these, uh, uh, you know, uh, companies which are into EV space. So uh, they are giving subsidy. They are giving a lot of, uh, uh, you know, grants also to the projects which are into EV space. And uh, they are actually uh, giving money for innovators to innovate in the space. Uh, and uh, soft loans are also being given. Because for Aether, the cost is uh, two point something. They gave some 40,000 40, for that fame uh, subsidy. Not only, not only that, uh, they yeah. are giving uh, exemption in the road tax or something. They yeah. are also giving uh, uh, other incentives. So uh, uh, they are making it very attractive for the buyer to buy the uh, EV because uh, EV production cost is more. Uh, so these companies are, uh, uh, you know, normal car and the EV car, the cost is more in the EV, right? So government, for example, they, they uh, are saying, oh, don't, worry, don't pay me the road tax. Don't pay me the, uh, you know, other uh, transport taxes. So they are giving a lot of exemptions to encourage people to buy EVs. Any other questions, please? All right, friends, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think we had a good discussion on uh, EV space. A lot of action is going to be taking place. And uh, uh, as I myself am invested into this space, uh, I mentioned about that. Um, we will be soon, uh, uh, you know, I'll be sharing with you what's happening uh, more in this space and uh, 
uh, any investors uh, in this uh, area who need to understand this space can connect with me as well as uh, if you want to set up any uh, uh, innovative uh, idea you have for the EV space, uh, please feel free to connect. Uh, I'll be too happy to support you. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone for joining. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.